This morning, I have got Bailey and Steve Hill, Bailey Ainsworth and Steve Hill with me, and they're going to be talking about an answer to prayer. So, Bailey, we're going to start with you, first of all. So, Bailey, a couple of weeks ago, when you saw Steve at church for the first time, tell me what you felt. Um, I felt a lot of excitement because he's finally back at church, and I jumped up at him and I said, Steve's back! Steve's back. <laughs> so you were excited. So at dinner the other night, you were having dinner with the whole family. And I was telling you what a great cheerleader you were for Steve. And every week, where did you pray for him at every at week? At Awanas. At Awanas. Mm -hmm. So did you pray for anybody else that whole time? No. Oh, okay. So Steve, tell us what's been, what was going on with you. Well, there wasn't a whole lot going on. I guess there was a lot going on. <laughs> but I was not conscious to the fact of what was going on. Donna was the one that carried the burden all that time. And, and she just she just got mad at the devil and just told him he was not taking So me. Steve talked about when you just got mad at the devil. What, when did that happen? Well, all of our family came up that night to see him because we thought they were probably seeing him for the last time. And we, uh, they all, you know, went in to see him. And after everybody went home that night, it was just me and Steve's brother and his wife in the waiting room. And I was just in turmoil, as you could imagine. And I thought, all of a sudden, what am I doing? What am I doing here? I'm standing here worried, and I have tools. I have power. What am I doing sitting here? So I got up, and I went to the edge of the waiting room, and uh, they had asked us to step out of his room for a while. So we were just in the waiting room. I extended my hand towards his room, and I started screaming at the devil. And I said, devil, you will not take my husband. I will not release him. You let go of him. And every attack that has been launched against Steve Hill has to fall to the ground and be of no effect against him whatsoever in Jesus' name. And I continued praying and, and screaming that way for a little while and when my brother-in-law and sister-in-law heard me commanding the devil to stand down they snapped too and they started praying out loud in the waiting room <laughs> now we were the only three in there but it really would not have mattered even <laughs> if there were other people in there because we had a job to do we had a mission and that mission was to shut satan down and we did that night, those warfare prayers changed the atmosphere. And all yeah. the prayers that, that we got a list of, of prayers from all the Awana kids and well, we how much we appreciated that. We had a whole wall of prayers that were sent to my hospital room and we actually had prayer going on all over the world. I even had a lady walk up to me at therapy the other day. She said, you, I don't know, you don't know me, but we have been praying for you and you are a miracle. And it was, it was precious to see that people everywhere were praying for me and I had no idea but how much I appreciate that prayer, those prayers, they were precious to, to Donna and our whole family. So Steve, do you remember what happened? I remember I was healed <laughs> <laughs> and I came out and, uh, and the, Really, I came out from, I just came back from the dead because the doctor gave me very little hope to live. Gave Donna a little, very little hope. And uh, it was just the prayers of the saints and the people all around the world that were praying for me that brought me back. What an awesome encouragement answer to prayer. 
Yes. I'm getting Bailey back in there. Thank you to Bailey for yeah, praying so much. Give us some sugar. <laughs> Oh, man. But, yeah, you know, Bailey's just getting pointed out because she was physically jumping three feet in the air when she saw you, Steve. <laughs> Yay, Bailey. What a great testimony. God is good.